Game. Hashtag Rolora is the Zodiac killer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rolora is not the senator from Texas. Oh, wow. Um, hi, welcome to the 220th hour. Yes. Of it's a pretty big deal. Numbers. Yes. Only a full, no. slightly more than a full day. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. My name is Reese, and I am the games master for the final hour today. Great. We have a two days off. It's going to be great. <laughs> okay, so what is this? What are we doing? We are playing a tabletop role playing game. What that means are these wonderful individuals around me play their own special and unique characters with their own abilities and traits and personalities that they can use to influence a fantasy setting. I play the fantasy setting. I play the islands, the seas, their allies, the monsters, and everything they meet along the way. We have 219 hours of backstory, so let me catch you up. Very briefly, our players are crew members upon the Spirit of the Horizon, a scientific research vessel that is sent on a mission to investigate an island that seemingly appeared overnight. Whilst investigating the island, they found a stone tablet which they removed from the temple. Doing so awakened a great old dead god. As they attempt to flee, the god destroyed their fleet. And in a last ditch attempt to escape, the acting captain at the time, Sammy Delasson, read the spell upon the tablet, transporting her and the crew to an entirely new world. It sadly took Sammy's life as it did. As we pick up, our adventurers have been in search of these stone tablet pieces, which they believe will be able to take them home. They've just uncovered the sixth one. They need one more. After battling with dragon turtles, this creature that was 80 foot long, 50 foot wide, covered in thick, heavy scales, and a water genie, this fish-like individual with blonde hair and orange scales and a horrible blue robe and red tie called El Donalid. Not his oh, idea. I, only I just, just got, got it. it. Not his idea. I just got that. Uh, uh, Chris told wow. me this two months ago as well. I don't know why I forgot that. Yep. We slaughtered him. I put a yeah. wall through his head. It was great. I have the best allies. <laughs> After <laughs> uncovering the, most tremendous ally. the hiding place of the tablet, solving some riddles and puzzles, they retrieved the tablet piece and kept it with the others. As they set sail, it is early night, probably around 10 or 11. The moon is in the sky, the winds are good as you sail onwards towards the truck and Caldora. Is there anything anyone will be doing at this point, or would you be asleep? Uh, I think I'd be on on deck trying to make sure that everything is still under, um, like, doing well, like, that we're sailing the right way and all that kind of stuff. Excellent. Can I get a perception check from you, mate? Oh, man. Who are you, by the way? Good point. We haven't done Oh, yeah, that. sorry. I completely forgot <laughs> to do introductions. <laughs> Introduce yourself from uh, my far left onwards. Um, so, yes, uh, my name is Ed, and I'm playing a character called Gwendolyn Scowl, who is a male half-elf fighter who is the master of the Spirit of the Horizon. Um, he is, the, well, as the master, he is uh, under control of all of the civilian people, which is like the sailors and the uh, endless um, cooks that we apparently have, and uh, the, the scientific research people. Um, I'm Emily, uh, but I'll be playing Peanut! The halfling rogue. Um, she started as a chef on the ship, and since then she keeps getting dragged into fights. So she she prayed and ended up with a god who gives her abilities to make food that helps her allies. So she's been doing that as much as possible. She managed to persuade that massive giant turtle thing that it really wanted cookies. It was awesome. Gave it it was an entire Amazing. Uh, I'm Tom. Uh, I play Norton Whitefeather, 
uh, who is a halfling fighter who takes his assumed surname from the little white feather he wears because he is a deserter and a coward who ran away from the war that he was reluctantly conscripted into for three years um, and he sought refuge on the spirit of the horizon and was swiftly put to work as a gunner upon his discovery. Awesome. Um, he has recently been caught up in the crew's many off-ship escapades that remind him an awful lot of the war he wanted to escape. <laughs> wondering why he did that and found such an awful way to escape. But Amazing. here he is and he just wants to get home now like everyone else. What will you two be doing at this time? Is it late at night? It's about ten. Some people are still up. There's general chatter amongst on deck and in the galley. There's individuals who have gone to sleep. There are individuals waking up for their night shift. Gwendolyn Skull is on deck. Peanut's going to be in the kitchen making a masala frittata with avocado salsa because it rhymes and sounds fun. Um, <laughs> learning how to make that because her god told her to. Excellent. <laughs> make a <laughs> dexterity check with your proficiency. Okay. So, whatever. Does this count as a. Uh, it would be the same as a sleight of hand check. So, would it count as a reliable talent? Yes. Cool. Mm. <laughs> I rolled a two, so that's good. 22. 22. <laughs> as any. She has an ability which means. Or anything she oh, sorry, rolls beneath 19. a 10 is counted as a 10. And then I have a, a little bit. Too, which it's hard a little bit broken. Yeah. Mm. Um, <laughs> so, you begin chopping away, mixing getting the ingredients together, begin frying up. Looks Good. and smells delicious. Norton, what would you be doing during this time? Uh, Norton's, for understandable reasons, pretty light sleeper and struggles, struggles to get off most nights. Um, and with the news, of, the, with the news of, of what's happened to the captain and the mixed emotions of understanding they've got a new piece of the uh, mm. MacGuff tab tablet. Um, did you say? I did not. He, well he would probably be wandering around a bit and... Um, uh, for roleplay reasons, um, he might smell something going on in the kitchen and wander in looking for someone to talk to. Oh, hello, middle of the night. hello. Do you want some frittata? Oh, is it ready? I think so. I think we're allowed to cook eggs. Right. Uh, well, Where did I get the eggs from? I'm not. <laughs> there are chickens aboard the ship. Oh, okay, cool. That's good. Duh. <laughs> Guys, people kept livestock on ships. Oh, like, yeah. It was fair. like a lot. Yeah. Keep loads, we've got loads of chickens. Um, yeah, oh, thank, that's really going, thank you. Um, yeah, we've run into any chickens before, yeah. How have you been doing, Norton? Um, I mean, right. you've run into the Maguros, but they're, like, not chicken people. Yeah, yeah. people. Do you think we'll ever get home? Yeah. I think so. We've gotten really close at this point. We're not very far. I know, but then what Just happened to the captain? That was, that was, that was bad. Yeah, it seems like as close as we get, something horrible happens. I'm really worried that we're going to get all the way there and then... Something horrible will happen. But, the, he, but that wasn't something else doing that to him. That was Laura accidentally doing that to him. It was just there's an always an accident. There's always a strange confluence no, of events. No, it's not. It's not. It'll be okay. Can no, I persuade him? No, I'm just getting him? nervous. I'm sorry. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> in an attempt to comfort him. Oh, it's a joy. Not one, uh, two, I think. Let's see. Let's pop down my extra thing. Let's get my food. That's not good. <laughs> Uh, it's an eight. <laughs> She's attempting bonus. to be comforting. She yeah. her heart's definitely in the right place. She's not very good at it. Yeah. I mean, not, Eat not, my food! <laughs> not, not, Norton obviously has no quarrel with her, so he's not going to be hostile. But he's, it's not, it's not really making him calm down more generally. So it's quite okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, Norton. Just here, have some more food. There's oh, also cookies. Oh. I'm working on them in the oven, I think. All right, thank you. Oh. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Does potassium nitrate lay eggs? <laughs> Does potassium nitrate I, oh Dungeons yeah. and dragons. <laughs> um, are you going to go right. ask him? <laughs> yeah, there is a character called potassium nitrate. He's right now, but he's, he's a bird man. He's like yeah. he, isn't he? He is a he. Is it a he? He yeah. probably doesn't lay eggs, then. They might lay eggs asexually. But, I mean, I suppose, I suppose so. I don't care. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Skull, you're up on the deck, correct? Mm. Mm -hmm. Can I get a perception <laughs> check from you? Yeah. Twelve? Twelve. Um, deck's fairly quiet. There's only a few individuals around. You actually see, for the first time, Valora out of the captain's cabin. She's standing at the front of the ship, 
in front of her is this glowing spiritual weapon in the shape of a wheel. I am Lucina and my name is Mary. Are you guided? I am Mary. I'm just... It's silly. It's not silly. You have a purpose here more than anybody else has. It's very, very lonely being one who has to make a decision, especially when it's thrust upon you by sad, sad consequences. I have every faith in you. Thank you. Every faith that you will take us where we need to be. I don't think it's where any of us want to be, but it's where we've got to go. Well, Laura looks over at you and she, she doesn't say anything, but she gives an approving nod continue staring off at the horizon. Stands there for quite a while before there's anything else she wants to say to you. Am I, I think she knows that I'm there for her, as it were. Yeah. After a short while... <laughs> That's not a good noise. Things are beginning to round down. People on their night shift are making sure the ship is staying straight, the helmsmen are handing over, they continue on. As Romora makes it back to her cabin, you hear a blood-curdling scream. Thank you. Did you hear that? Rolora is standing yes! in the cabin, over the table, and the tablet pieces are gone. Son of a... Oh, no! God, right, okay. Can we go, um, can we go investigate the scream? Yeah. Come, come running up towards Mom. the cabin. Put the potato in my hand. <laughs> you see... Rolora's face, and it's... It's not so much... Sadness or frustration, it is pure anger. What has happened? Why has this happened? I don't know! I came back... I had the door closed, and the tablet pieces are gone. Who could open the door? Me, Brina, Brother Jürgen. A few people knew the password. There was a cabin boy who was really creepy. He was really creepy. And he, anyway, was. And he loved anyway. stealing things. <laughs> <laughs> that one guy. <laughs> that one guy, that one is there, time. Is there, is there any other entrances or exits to this cabin? The windows, but they all stayed locked. There's no sign of anyone breaking in. It would make sense, therefore, that those who we are trying to visit may have found out what we were trying to do. They are the they are the magic bearers. They are the ones that would been able, would have been able to get in here. We need Brina. We need someone who can scry. We need. I can go get Brina. There. Please do. Okay. Yeah, of course. That's <laughs> perfect. It's very, very good role she play. Runs. Mm. We were so close. We were so close. She <laughs> flips the, the table. She rips oh, the maps wonderful. off that the wall. Oh, table. <laughs> not, not really not enjoying this. You look over at Rolora, this half elf with her pulled back hair, normally very well kept. She has Flip. gone into a fit of anger. Um. Uh, I want to try a persuasion roll on her. Yep. Um, I want to try and get in front of her, look her dead in the eye, mm -hmm. and say to her, we have lost nothing. We were nowhere without the last piece. We had as many of those things due to our own efforts. We can make those same efforts again. If all we have to do is go through what we have already gone through, we can do it again. catch up with them quickly, whoever took them will all have them in the same place. Absolutely. So let us scry, let us find where they are, and let us take their teeth. At which point you return with Brina. Oh, dear. What? What happened? 
We don't know. That is exactly what... And you need to scry immediately to find out where the pieces have gone. The pieces have all gone. Uh, yes, of course. Um, uh, I have a question. How long has it been since you were in this room before we left? Uh, anyone else was? A couple of hours, maybe. Not even that. That is fine. They can't no have gone one that was far. watching it. Well, you remember what happened in the doorway? In the room. It was the teleported. Absolutely. But we still need to scry. We still need to scry soon. That's fair, yes. Uh, Brina begins the ritual and asks you all to stand around as there's this sigil in the floor, this multiple arcane runes, she's sprinkled some herbs, she's burnt some incense, there is this ritual begun. As you all gather around, she asks you to hold hands. She focuses on. <laughs> she focuses on the tablet pieces, specifically one of the first ones you came across. At which point, all of your visions leave your head. You fly up into the sky, miles and miles above. You are thrust across the horizon. You see the sun rise. a floating city you go deep underground and you see this twisting glowing orb next to it you see a hooded figure with all seven tablet pieces it's beginning to put them back together the individual takes a step back I get a perception check from everyone at disadvantage. Oh. At disadvantage. Okay. As this vision is fady and not clear. Shh. Yeah, I, I got my ass a six. It's a thirteen. <coughs> Four. Yeah. Spoon yeah. to hooch on that one. Yeah. You see an individual wearing a cloak. Upon the cloak there is a pin of a crescent moon. You see this small Vosu face underneath the cloak. Wolf-like individual, small snout, thick, wiry fur, big eyes. She is observing the tablet. You recognize this individual as Candle. Fill me in. That's Candle, Thank you. way, way back at the beginning of our adventure, was a Vosu individual who the ship came across while investigating an island. She had knowledge of this world and the tablet pieces. She had turned up at multiple times throughout the adventure. I try to sleep with her so often. Norton's, Norton's having one of those flashback montages where he just spots all the time that she just happened to be there and say yeah, things that right now have yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yes, yeah, not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but of course, they're also retconning Norton into most of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Wow. The vision comes back to you. Um. Well, Laura doesn't say anything, but she begins to just push you all out of the room. That was, that was and candle. closes the door candle. behind us. Let us leave. Yes, it, it was, was candle. candle. Let us leave the door alone. But candle is. That was candle. There's always an accident. I yes, told you. so many yeah. things in this world are not to be trusted. Admittedly, there is no way that we could know what we could trust and what we couldn't trust, but this still doesn't make it any easier. Nothing changes. We know that they are still in the place where we were already going. We now know what we are up against, at least. She was our ally. What she therefore intends to do now is... Well, she, what if she does some of the tablets that gets us away? We don't know what she's going to do, but we do need to find her, and we do need to ask her as politely as we can to give us the tablet back. Or maybe 
Maybe she knows how to use it. We'll be able to transport us all back as quickly as possible. I doubt it's too far. You think that politeness will help when she stole it from us? I think that she may have reasons for stealing it that we do not know. Well, obviously. All right. I'm, I'm we do it faster. It. Small, small Can we man. go any faster? <laughs> yes. Talk to the wizards. Get them to conjure up some wind. Otherwise, no. Small man from a small town question. Um, that was uh, in the sky, right? Yes. We're in a ship yes. on the sea. Yes. Probably missed a meeting. Understood. How are we? Ah, we are going back to the <laughs> Trock and Caldora. Trock and Caldora, who have helped us before, and we have been to this city before. Yes, multiple times. Indeed. You are good friends with each individual queen. <laughs> ah, the queens, right. right? And they're gonna. Yeah, we have to oh. hope. This is the thing: we have to rely on an awful lot to get us to where we want to go. If any one of these people does not come through for us, we are in serious trouble. Therefore, I would suggest being polite to everyone until they give us a reason not to be. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> she makes really nice cakes. Right? I know, I'm yeah. saying, make <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, right, right no, that's really good. Yes, He's saying make cakes. You sounded so angry. Yes, <laughs> I, I was I'm thinking. angry about the thing being stolen from us, not the fact that you can cook. I love the fact that you can cook. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Send very mixed messages. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make I'm a little confused. Little. I'm just little. I want to make As you're things, there, oh. yelling. Hmm? Yes. 25 hit you. Yes! You oh, what? Shit. What? God damn! Take 34 points of piercing damage. Wow! Can okay. I get a constitution saving throw from you? Yes, yes, you can. Yeah, that's a 13. You take a further 30 points of poison damage you have as a dagger ready. pierces your back. To look over his shoulder and you see these deep black eyes, these lipless fish like lips, a row of razor sharp teeth. You look out in the distance and multiple Rikina have made their way onto the boat. We're gonna right. need a bigger boat. <laughs> no, not very big, I think. I really wish I'd gotten something from Kalahanu because he liked me, <laughs> she liked me. Was it two thirty fours? It was two thir it was a thirty four and a thirty. Oh, oh fine, that's the problem I thought. Okay, cool. As we right. go into initiative. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Up first are the assassins. <laughs> As oh, okay. The first one out of nowhere comes up behind you. You didn't see him coming. Will a 24 hit? I'm afraid it will. You take 34 points of piercing damage. And can I get a constitution saving throw from you, please? Sorry, you have 10 temporary, or you have 1d10 I have 1d10 temporary hit points. Does that mean I have to roll? Yes, you do. You're all You take 15 points of poison damage as the dagger pierces your back, slathered in poison. And they pull out. So, uh, so what, what was the first amount of damage? 34. 34. And 15. Okay. At which point, two arrows come towards you, Peanut. First one is a 28 to hit. Yeah, it hits. You take. You take 32 yes. points of piercing damage. Oh. Can I get a constitution saving throw, please? Yeah, okay, dodge. Yep, that's fine. That damage is halved. Oh, that's not terrible. You take 15 points of poison damage. As the second arrow comes in. <laughs> what a 13 hit? Because I rolled a 3 and then that 1. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah, that's so the, the second arrow too, digs right? into the wall as you see multiple people come into arms on deck who have begun to see these individuals. Up next, uh, who has what's your dexterity score? Yeah. You're up next. What would you like to do? 
Uh, are there three assassins that you can see? There are two assassins that you can see. Very atmospheric. Um, and well, the, there's a lad who's come right up to me, hasn't he, and stabbed me in the yes in the back. I'm gonna spin right round. Um, I'm gonna uh, get out my my heavy crossbow thing with a bayonet on the end. Yep. Um, pick it up like that and just go. Okay. Oh, okay. Make three attack rolls for me. Make three attack rolls because I get bonuses for being one hand. Um, come on, guys. It's I know. It's <laughs> Um, All in the that. delivery, mate. All in the delivery. <laughs> I knew what I was doing. The first attack was a 19. Uh, 19 mm-hmm. will hit. Right. Shall I roll all the attacks and then all the damage as well? Uh, yes, please. As the first strike comes down, you pierce his chest, pull out, come in for the second one. Uh, the second one is another 19. That will hit. And the third is higher than 19, 50 plus 11. That will hit. Roll three lots of damage for me. Five, five plus nine for the first one, 14. Uh, six plus nine for the second one, 15. Yep. And one plus nine, 10. Okay, cool. So, you come in with multiple oh, strikes to this individual's chest as they take a fair amount of damage. Have I got movement still? You do dead. have movement still, but yeah. Is he gonna get a, is he gonna get a thingy? A yeah. Attack, whatever you call it. I'll change the attack. Um, Okay, I'm, can I just holler really loudly? Just sort okay. of like, you know, assassins! Really loudly. <laughs> as loudly as his little lungs can do. Help, my brother. Okay. Assassins! If only we had a T Rex or something! Yeah. <laughs> D- be T-Rex. very careful what you wish for, dude. Be very careful what I wish for. <laughs> Peanut. Yeah, okay, so someone shot at me. Yes. Do I know who? Make a perception check. Okay. <laughs> uh, net 20! Yeah! You see, you see some time. In the darkness, you see two <laughs> individuals who have made their way up the mast and have a vantage point down Ooh. at you. You look towards the front of the ship and you see two more assassins. I'm going to point out to Thornton, I guess, or to anyone who's watching. I'm like, there's two in the front and there's two up there! I'm going to point to them. Um, and then I'm going to... So one is engaged in combat with Norton, or no? One is engaged in combat with Norton, or one is engaged in combat with Gwendolyn Scholar. In the back! Oh, in the I'm, gonna, back. I'm gonna attack the one that attacked him. Okay, cool. I think I'm probably closest to him. This halfling solidarity. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the halflings, they gotta stick together, man. Uh, okay, so I rolled a 25. Oh, oh yeah, that'll so hit. Oh, that'll hit. Probably. Um, and that'll give me... Oh, that's good. That's. Uh, you, oh, I can't in... count more than two at once anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's um, 43. Wait, what? How what do you want to finish this individual off? You just did. They are right for the neck. Okay. Nice. You just did 43 in one hit. Yeah. yeah. Rogues. Five. Five. Woo! Boom. That was awesome. You take a step back, find a clear shot towards the creature's throat. It enters and the hood falls back. You see the gills expand and blood trickle out oh. as it falls limp. Okay. Devil. You're not just a chef, are you? <laughs> you didn't notice it! I kind of Skull. This one. Yeah. <laughs> You're off. <laughs> right. um, uh, I want to turn and with the with my blade Yes. Not the maul. Um, I want to deliver your great sword. It's all right. I said blade specifically, so I didn't make the wrong thing again. Um, yep. So first attack. Yes. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. That'll do. Well, hang on. What did you roll on the dice? Nineteen. You're a fighter, dude. That crits. Hey. I love Excellent. you, Ed. Good point. <laughs> oh, it's actually 18, 19, and twenty. Oh what? my god. Yeah. Right, okay. You crit a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna. This is gonna wow. hurt. Um, can I? Doesn't matter. I'll just roll them. Roll them. So you four. need d6. Yeah. These are pathetic. Yeah. But thank you. It's very, very nice. Me, 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 me. We just you pathetic. Fine. Yeah, you don't have to use them. I'm very keen to use I them. I hope thank you roll you one. Oh. <laughs> and then I'll just re-roll them. Anyway. Um, <laughs> that's, yeah. Fair point. Yeah, okay. In fact, I am gonna re-roll all three of those. Uh, ah, so that's so that's um, 14, 15. Uh, t- uh, 21. 
21 points of damage Yarr. with one strike Absolutely. as your great sword comes down on this creature's shoulder, severing gill and shoulder blade. You dig deep in, this creature is still standing. Oh, oh I take another one. Uh, that's 26. 26 hits. No. That's rolling that. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That is 17. Yeah, that'll hurt. Yeah. Mm. Um, it, if I'm, can I describe to finish him? Yeah, uh, it? it's not finished yet. Oh, no. still standing. Ah. <laughs> okay, in which case, um, <laughs> I want to, because I've got like right into him, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to be, I want to do the, I want to take a step back, like rip and turn and bring it back around the other way. If you see what I mean. Uh, yeah, I see what you're trying to do. Make your third attack roll. Okay. Oh, 15. Make a stealth check. Does not hit. Damn! Yeah, I shouldn't have tried to be so flash. Oh well. Darkness. Okay. You come in with the first strike down to the shoulder and you rip it out for the second attack. Bringing it round, the creature ducks. Too easy. <laughs> so oh well. now, the two members of the guard. They pull out their heavy crossbows and fire into the darkness, oh. unable to see what they're firing oh, at. Yeah. It's now the assassins go. Get some fey ancestry. <laughs> As they, the one in combat with you, <laughs> me. Does a sixteen hit you? No, I'm not even close. Okay. <laughs> Like the dagger thing. comes in and it just can't pierce through your armor. Good. So it's going to disengage and make its way towards the front of the ship. I can't do anything about that. No. Fine. Okay. Now the other four assassins goes. Two of them are going to release shots towards you. You know where they are though. I, I, I hate to hear this as it's happening. What? I hate as well that they see me. One of them did. Okay. Uh, that's a 29 to hit. Yeah, that hit. Wow. I guess. You take 10 piercing damage. Can I get a constitution saving throw, please? Five. You take 30 points of poison damage. Ooh. Okay, As can, the I, arrow can I... Can I take down poison damage or no? No. Okay, just the other one. Okay. The other two are going to make their way forward. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to attempt to hide. One of them goes to hide behind a barrel, but you clearly see where he went. Barrel. The other ducks behind the mast, and as you look round, he's not there. Um, it might have. Nope. Right, Norton. Norton, you're up. Uh, and there, and there's one behind a barrel. So yep. He's in cover, but I know he's there. Yep. Ma Sorry, mask. doesn't matter. No, no, no. Ma ma Master and Commander was behind the mast, and he yep. can't see him at all. Guys up in the thing, I can see. Uh, make a perception check with advantage because they've been pointed out to you. Um, with advantage, um, that's a critical fail, but I can reroll it. Um, that is uh, only an 11. It's hard to make out, you can't see. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Timing. Irony. Um, Dramatic irony. Uh, did you want to shout something at me? We'll have, we'll have to talk no, about it. No, because I can't. Oh, like, do we not I talk out of no. no. You can't message me. Oh, no, no, so shout for shouting will be telling them. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, so have I got any vision on any You've got vision on the, on on the guy who hid behind the barrel. Barrels, yeah. So, so <laughs> is he in cover for me? Uh, he does have some cover, but it's not a difficult shot. Okay, so I can really. It's yeah. not going to affect the roll, in other words. It might do. Just roll. Okay. <laughs> well, good, because I've got movement, so could I like move around? To yeah, you can get a better vantage point yeah. on him. Um, obviously, I can't see the layout of the ship, so nope. I, I move somewhat intelligently across the deck, <laughs> yep. um, trying to keep myself safe, but also getting around the barrel. Of course, yeah. make your shot. Um, that is a, a 19. A 19 hits. Correct. Roll damage for me. Um, 20, 10, plus 9. That is a 16. 16? Yeah, that'll, that'll do. Um, reload, second shot. Twenty-two most definitely hits. Roll damage for me. Ah, only one, but still ten damage. Nice. Yeah. You get a better vantage point on this assassin that's making its way along the deck. 
You fire the first shot, hitting it in his side as it takes to one knee. You line it up with his shoulder blade and dig it in. Okay. Good work. Peanut. All I was going to say to you was... How bad does the one behind the barrel look? Doesn't matter. He, he and the one uh, Gwendolyn Skull were engaged in combat are the only other ones who have been damaged. All the others haven't been touched yet. But do they look... Like, which one looks worse off, I guess? Uh, the one Gwendolyn Skull attacked. Okay, I'm going to shoot at the barrel one then, because I do want to see what's about yep. damage. Um, can he see me? Um... Because one of them me. didn't see me, one did, I think. Nope. Okay, sweet. Um, in that case, I'm going to shoot at him with my short bow. Um, does a 20 hit him? A 20 most definitely hits. Sweet. Um, oh, that damage. <laughs> Is it more than 32 damage? Yeah, and just got to that, yeah. 27, 28, so 20. That's why it took five right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be uh, 40. How do you want to finish this individual yeah. off? Same way. Air on the gills. Of oh, course. Cool. So you once again line up your shot as you find him and release. The arrow flies straight and true as you go into the one gill and it doesn't come out the other side. Oh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Skull, you're up. I'm gonna hide again. Don't Make it, yep. Let's forget. Okay, that's actually 22 for one. Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I've still got my blade out. Yep, you I'm do. Still, I'm still facing one, aren't I? No, he ran away. He ran and away. And he was just taken down by... Oh, I got the barrel one. Barrel yeah. Oh, you shot the barrel. Yeah, no, okay, the other one has made his way towards the front of the ship. So he's just run from me. Yeah. So I am chasing after him with, okay. the, with the blade. I will not have interlopers on my ship. Um, and I don't, do I have to do anything before I can try and attack him? Because he disengaged. He disengaged. He didn't so have the opportunity to hide. That's right. So I just have so to, so to re-engage. Yep. That's totally happening. Uh, that's a 27. And... Uh, that's 16 damage. Yep. And second strike. Yep. Uh, 23. Yeah. Um, uh, 16 damage. Excellent. And third one? Third one. God damn it. Right. Okay. 27. That 26. Yes! Uh, that's uh, 18 damage. 18 damage. Yeah. As you come in with multiple sword strikes, this individual's back. How do you want to finish him off? Uh, <laughs> um, I, uh, I presume the third strike kind of takes him down, as it were. Yep. And I'm afraid I'd go into a porcupine frenzy like. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You bring this great sword down multiple times into this individual's back, as you can still feel some of the poison in your system. Yeah, that's what's getting me. Do not poison me on the deck of my own damn ship, you little bastard! Sorry. Not vomit. Nice. <laughs> Perception checks. One of them does see. Makes a shot. Crits. Ooh. On me? No. These are two guardsmen. Oh, cool, oh, cool, 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 cool. Oh. As they release a shot from their crossbow into one of the individuals on the mast. Oh, nice. Real critters. Now, their turn. The assassins. Only three left. One is going to. Okay, that's good. Nope. 22 to hit you. 22 to hit me? Yep. A good one. one. You take 34 points of piercing damage, yeah. and can I get a constitution saving throw, oh, please? Man, yes, of course you can. 17? We'll pass. You cool. take 15 points of poison damage. So that's, what, 39, 49 in total? Yes. Wow. They, they hit hard. They do. How are you doing Example, Wednesday? Peanut, also yeah. a rogue. Yeah. Uh, the other one is going to make a shot towards you, Peanut. I'm 
I'm heading to this one then. That's a good point. Do they see you? No, they don't. Nice. Uh, Thank you. All right. They are going to not be able to do anything that turn then. As it goes back to the top of the round. Um, it's just the guys in the thing now, as far as it's I know. I know there's some of them that I can't see. Oh, there's one individual you can't oh, see. There are two that are, are on top of the mast, one of which has dropped down yeah. on top of Gwendolyn's skull. Ooh, okay. Uh, Does he? Yep. I didn't know about this yet, but I will. Yeah. Right. Okay. <coughs> um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna. Do, 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 I'd have to reload my bolt gun, my, my bolt gun thing yep. to fire it. So I'm yep. gonna instead drop it down, pull out my harpoon gun. Of course, which I've still got. <laughs> yeah, you for do. For time's sake, um, it's quicker to get two shots off of this. So I aim, uh, aim it at the guy who's on Gwendolyn. Okay, um, <laughs> make an attack roll for me. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it, is it a kind of like there's a real risk of getting him shot, or is he between me and Gwendolyn? You don't know. He's do currently it, do on it, top. Do it. Ready to take this. I mean, that's a 19, which is a crit because I'm a, a crit. fighter. Yeah, you are. Arr. That's 2d12. Um, 2d12. Bloody Christ. Yeah, that's amazing. Super. Um, ah, oh, it's a one. Let's roll another d12. Let's roll another d12. Oh, yeah, I did it. That's fine. Yeah, but the damage is not a problem. You crit, man. Um, that's two. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. Also, oh no, you haven't got speciality with the thing you're part of. Actually, no. lucky when I roll a one. Oh no, it's a d20 on a yeah, 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 yeah. No, fine. Uh, so that sadly, incredibly, was only uh, three damage. Uh, yes, so seven damage. Oh off man! But I get another attack at least. Go for it. Okay. Did, did you not roll double dice for? Uh, okay. I, I rolled the same one twice. Peanut. I rolled the same one twice. So okay. can, I, can, I, can I attack? Oh yeah, you get your yeah, second attack. attack. Sorry. Sorry. So once again, reload. Uh, that's a fourteen plus eleven. That will hit. Roll damage for me. So one again! So that's five damage. Okay. Because it's not being done, it's best used underwater. <laughs> Wait, so don't you get to reroll your ones that you roll on your d12? Uh, no. No. Okay, he hasn't got that ability. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, Alright. There are multiple harpoons lodged into yeah. this creature's side now. <laughs> Peanut, you're up. Okay. The, well, who looks the worst off? Uh, in terms of. Of enemies. Enemies. Yeah. The one that's currently on top of Gwendolyn's skull. Okay. Yeah, that one. Um, that one. It still attempts to shoot. Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm gonna make a healing potion real quick. Of for course. Forty-two. Forty-two. Um, yeah. Which brings me up to okay point. Um, and then I'm gonna shoot at that guy. Go for it. Um, that's a twenty-two to hit. The arrow flies through the air, strikes, roll damage. Rolling. Never do that again. I will now be doing that again. That's fine. 35. 35. There's a. He's bleeding intensely. Oh, I can't hide again because I messed with him and pushed my bonus. Yes, you did. Can I move behind the barrel at least? Yes, you can. Cool. And then attempt to get <laughs> the into barrel cover. between yeah. you. I'm going to get behind cover and not going to hide. Skull. Yeah. Um, There's currently an individual who's brought a dagger down on top of you. Yeah. Has taken multiple hits. Uh, what, like, what I would like to do is, because I assume he's on my back, right? Yeah. Could I reach back and try and pull him over to slam him down onto the thing? Sure, take make a strength check. Will that take my entire action, and would it be more effective just to attack him three times? Well, he's currently on top of you. It's going to be hard to attack him. Make a strength check. Cool, let's make a strength check. 22. You grab this individual, mm. slam him down onto the ground. What's your strength modified? Plus four. Plus four. In total, he had 17 hit points. He was on 66 damage. You do five <laughs> damage to him. How do you want to kill him as you slam him into the floor? <laughs> um, oh, I am. <laughs> this is. This is. I'm, I, Gwendolyn's gone dark. Um, he he gets the guy over, slams him. Hopefully, he is something crack. Wants to um, try and punch through his throat and rip out his spine. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh I God. do not like these things. I'm getting that. You slam this Reekinner down onto the deck of the ship. You see as the harpoons and arrows that have littered his body 
pierce through his yes. chest. As you bring your hand down between two gills, find the back. Can I get a second strap check from you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can. 16. You pull and you pull and you pull. You don't get the full thing. The full thing, yeah. but you get quite a few vertebrae. Good. That's going around my neck like a charm. <laughs> okay. It's now two of the guards' turn. That's going to see if they can see anything. One does see something. Oh. Thank you. Makes his shot. Does some damage. Okay. Now the last two assassins turns. They are going to see what's going on. One is going to drop down on top of you, Mars. That was a critical success. So you take Sorry, mate, you take 64 points of piercing damage. Can I, are you still up? I'm still up, actually. Just nice. Can I get a constitution saving you throw, please? You really want to make this. Please make this. I remind you that you have the ability Indomitable, Quite that right. if you don't think it's going to pass, you can re-roll. I can re-roll a saving throw if I fail. My constitution saving throw is fine. It's critical one. Lucky. Lucky, re-roll it. Okay. Oh Halfling luck, guys. Halfling luck, guys. Luck. It's a 10 plus 6, 16. Passes. Oh. Still a crit, though. Still a, still a crit. You take 30 points of poison damage. Oh. Right. Oh. I'm not dead As Norton so goes unconscious with this reeking out on top of him. Oh. Peanut, you're up. Peanut's gonna shoot the damn thing if she can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unless it makes more sense to give him a healing potion right now, but that's, that's he's easy. currently engaged in combat, yeah. so it's yeah. really yeah. difficult to feed yeah. him something. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, she's gonna shoot it. Okay. I, I assume it's engaging him right now. He's unconscious. It doesn't what count do for sneak attack. Can I hide and then walk out with my bonus action? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I get all the damage. Um. Don't see you. <laughs> Cool. Make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Make your attack yeah, roll. Yeah, I need to do that first time. I please roll. Uh, it's a 17 to hit. Hits. Oh, goody. Okay. Yeah. It's that individual gone. <laughs> Good work. I'm going to go over to <coughs> Norton um, and try to drag him. <laughs> okay. Make a strength check. <laughs> Skull. That's a 12. Um, so there's one more, right? Yes, but you don't know where he is. Yeah. Or she. If yeah. it's shark people, you really can't gender them that well. No. <laughs> it's not, it's not easy. Yeah, I'm not going to try. Um, it's gone. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, I want to give a shout to the rest of the boat, if you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, there is an assassin on this ship. Anyone who brings me him alive gets double wages for the next year. Oh. Wait, That's a big promise. Yeah, it is. I don't think anyone's going to bring him to me alive. <laughs> but bring him to me alive or dead, if you can, as soon as possible. Uh, I will make an investigation check. One of the guards yells out from you, by the helm. He's made his way to the second mast. He looks like he's trying to jump. Okay. Uh, um, we're none of us are spellcasters, are we? So can, 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 is, he, is he obvious? As in, can Make we... Make a perception check for yeah, yeah. advantage. Yeah, yeah. 17. You see him. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll go with my heavy crossbow. Yep. And that's t so that's two because one's reload. Uh, one attack's reloading. Yep. Seventeen hits. Good. Very, very good. Where's the D10? Uh, th uh, seven. Seven. Yeah. Okay. 
And the second. Second attack after reloading. It's a critical failure. Yeah, it is. Oh, no. You go to fire the crossbow. Oh, no! Jams. Yeah, yeah, it does. As you look down, or look up at this Rekina, and they leap off the side of the ship, down into the water, and make off in incredible speed. Yeah. Searchlights, searchlights, but I'm presuming you don't find them. He is in the shadows. Yeah, very good. As the ship continues to search, See if there are any other assassins left on board. Reports come back that there is no one left. <coughs> the individual made it away. As you sail through the night towards the Trocan Caldora, as the spirit of the horizon has faced multiple blows this night, swearing it'll leave things off. A big oh. round of applause for my players. Uh, They've been fantastic. I'm going to hand back over to our SM Chloe. Thank you for joining us. We're doing this from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We're also live streaming the whole thing on twitch.tv forward slash Adventure 20. Live streaming it at Adventure 250. Um, I'm going to throw to a couple, uh, some people. Some people, pretty much all of the people, people who are involved uh, in other shows at the Fringe uh, or other bits and pieces. So this is their chance for a plug. Ed, do you want to kick off? Thank you. Uh, I am in a show called Beetledom Alpha, which is on at the Cowgate Underbelly uh, at two fifty tomorrow. It's about a clown that breaks the universe. <laughs> Good stuff. Just so you know. <laughs> Uh, like I said before, my name's Emily. Um, I draw D and D characters, and my deviant art is O A Rackberry, which is O A R A C H B A E R I. Um, I can write that out for you if you want. Uh, and I do commissions, so if you want a character drawn for one of your games, just let me know, and I can do that. If you're the kind of person who likes Dungeons and Dragons, you may also like alternate history fiction. <laughs> uh, in which case you may be interested in Sea Lion Press which can be found at sealionpress.co.uk we are the world's only publishing house dedicated to the publication of alternate history we ask questions like what if America had gone communist what if Britain had voted remain or what if France had decolonized differently or what if hippopotami had been introduced to the southern United States I love that one um, it's a good one um, you can find them all at sealionpress.co.uk wait what this, this, is is a, this is awesome. This isn't a bit. This <laughs> is what I do. I about this before. I don't think I can afford to come to the Fringe. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, fine. I sell these things. Please Good. have a look at our website. If, it, if not, fine. But tell your friends who might be more interested in it, and that's great. Thank you very much. Well, we've now got to set out so that another show can come in for this evening. Yeah. So it's just like what you came, but thank you very much for joining us and have a lovely evening. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Two day break, and then the end Back begins. Again. Oh, oh, man. Man. The end. I was going to say.